So we are going to stay with our theme of the family of God and learning from what the Lord says to us in his word and trying to be, well, I guess I would say um, learn how to function as the family and why it's so important. In Jesus' high priestly prayer in John 17, uh, we're going to look at part of what he prayed to the Father for us. And this is what it says. I'm praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. That's me and you. I pray that they will be one, just as you and I are one, as you are in me, Father, and I am in you. And may they be in us so that the world will believe that you sent me. I've given them the glory you gave me so they may be one as we are one. I am in them. You are in me. May they experience such perfect unity that the world will know that you sent me and that you love them as much as you love me. So we see here in Jesus' prayer, the very heart of God is for us to function in a unified family, a unified body, that we might show the world that Jesus Christ is really the Savior of the world, that God is real. And our oneness, our family unity as the body of Christ, as fellow believers, is one of the key evangelistic tools that there is. It is one of the more critical aspects of revealing to the world the truth of the gospel, the truth of who Jesus is and the reality of God is our unity. And so it makes sense then that the enemy would try and disrupt and divide and mess up the family unit, the the body of Christ, the very unity that Jesus was praying for, the enemy is all about division. And so the struggle and the war that comes is always to attack and divide, trying to divide in relationships, trying to divide in, you know, the church, trying to divide in the home, trying to divide in the nation. It's everywhere. And this is why Jesus prayed specifically that as we have received the Father within us, the Spirit of God, God himself, through Jesus Christ, that we might have that unity and that oneness with him and that we might share that with one another. And it's obvious when it's there. So there's our call. Let's be his church. Have an amazing day with him. 